Greetings and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro Inc. and today I'll be demonstrating how to create product attributes and product families. Oro Commerce supports product attributes and product families. Product attributes are the configurable characteristics for the product. For example, you could create products of multiple sizes, colors, flavors, just to name a few. Once you've created your product attributes, you can then organize them into a product family. A product family is a group of related attributes. For our examples, we're creating t-shirt sizes and colors and adding them to a t-shirt family. This way, when any shirt type products are created, I can easily add all the needed attributes by binding the product to this product family. Additionally, both product attributes and product families are both required components when creating simple and configurable products. In our next video, we'll cover the creation of products that use these attributes. To create a product attribute, navigate to the Products menu and use the drop-down to select Product Attributes. The Products Attribute Grid displays. Click the Create Attribute button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Give the attribute a meaningful name. For our first example, I'll create an attribute for t-shirt sizes. The name of the field can be anywhere between 2 and 22 characters long, using alphabetical characters, numbers, and underscores only. No spaces or special characters are allowed. Select a field type. For our example, we'll have options for small, medium, and large sizes. So our example will use the select field type. This means that customers can select one of multiple choices. Click the Continue button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Additional attribute details are displayed. Enter a label for the field. This is the name that will be given to the field on the storefront. The label is pre-populated with the name given in the previous step, but you can change this to another value. Enter in a meaningful description. On the right side, you'll see the Options section. These options are available because of the field type selected in the previous step. Click on the plus Add button to add our options for attributes. For example, we're creating sizes. Create the first entry for small. Click the plus Add button again to add the next size. Continue until all sizes of the product are represented. If you would like one of these options to be the default, click the checkbox to the right of the option. You can also use the double-sided arrow to drag and drop the options in the desired order. Click the Import and Export link. This section details the name and placement of custom fields for importing and exporting only. Define the column name. If no name is used here, then the default label will be used. This will be the name column in the CSV file. Type in a column position. This is a number that corresponds to the position of the field in the CSV file that contains the entity records. The Use as Identity field defines if this field will be added to record identification. An example of a field used as an identification field is a contact name. Additionally, this field is used to determine unique values in the CSV file. In the Exclude Column field, select No if you want this field to be available for export, and Yes if you wish to exclude this column. This means this field will not be included in the CSV export or any other. Click the Other link. These options cover settings for both the Oro Commerce Management Console and also on the storefront. In the Show on Form field, select Yes if you wish to have this field displayed and editable on Record and Page Edits. The ability to edit depends on the permissions of the logged in user. The Applicable Organizations checkbox determines if you want this field to be available throughout all organizations. In the Available and Email Templates field, select a Yes if you'd like this field to be available for use in templates. The Add to Grid Settings options controls the availability and display of a field in the grid. By default, Yes and Display are selected and makes the field available for use in the grid. 
Yes and do not display means that the field is hidden by default, and yes as mandatory adds it permanently to all grid views. For the show on grid filter, select yes if you wish to have the field's filter displayed on the user interface by default. Select no if it will not be displayed by default, but you can add it as a filter if needed. In the show on view field, select yes if you'd like the field displayed on record view pages. The priority defines an order of custom fields on entity record view, edit, create pages, and on the respective grid. If the searchable field is set to Yes, this field will be indexed and returned in search results. Select if the field is an auditable field. If set to Yes, the system will log changes made to this field when users edit the entity records. This is not available for serialized fields. These options on the right are for the storefront only. Use the drop-downs to determine if you want this attribute to be searchable, filterable, sortable, enabled, or visible. When you're finished configuring these options, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You are returned to the Product Attribute Grid. Creating product attributes requires a schema update. Click the Schema Update button. You can create additional attributes for your t-shirt as needed. For our example, I've already created a color which gives the user a choice of a black or white t-shirt. Once you've finished creating your product attributes, we'll need to create a product family for these attributes. Product families are created to categorize multiple attributes for a product with variants. Navigate to the Products menu and use the drop-down to select Product Family. the Product Family grid displays. Click the Create Product Family button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. In the Code field, give the Product Family a meaningful name. For our example, we're going to create a Product Family for t-shirts. In the Label field, enter a label for the Product Family. Click the Enabled checkbox to enable the Product Family. If needed, you can select an image for the product family. Click on the Attributes link. The default attribute group is already added for every new product family. This includes attributes such as name, meta descriptions, and prices, just to name a few. You cannot remove this attribute group. Click the plus Add button to add each attribute created in the previous step. For our example, I'll add the t-shirt sizes. Enter a label for the attribute. For our example, I'll use T-Size for T-Shirt. To add additional attributes, click the plus Add button. As I mentioned, I previously created a color for our T-Shirts, which are either black or white. When you're finished adding all your attributes to the family, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. you return back to the product family grid. In our next video, you'll learn how to create simple products using the attributes and families created here. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocommerce.com/media-library.